Hello everyone. Now we will solve one question from the topic that is sectional orthographic projection. Sectional orthographic projection means we have to draw the front view, top view of an object by assuming it to be sectioned from a particular point in the particular direction. So let's say the question says draw full sectional ortho views means we have to do it full sectional view. There are three types full, half and offset but here it is given full sectional. So front view is given with this arrow. It means I have to cut it in such a way in the front view its internal shape will be clear. So it means if I say uh, in this question the section line or section plane is not given. So what we do in that case uh, generally it is given in the question but if it is not given we have to assume that we are cutting the object like this. You have no need to draw this on the question. So just to teach you I am doing this means question says that I have to cut the object like this means this is the section plane x or we can say this x we have to cut it vertically and remove this part front part right so then we will see how to draw the orthographic projection with the sectional views now when you see from the side I have told you there are three steps to solve sectional orthographic views first you have to draw the normal orthography same in the free sketch normal orthography then you have to convert the hidden line into object line which are coming under sectioning third is there you have to do the hatching and draw the section line so I'll tell you the first step we have to draw the same normal orthography without sectioning so when I see from the side I'm making the freehand sketch the normal orthography like the same you have done in the previous chapter so you can say without any dimension this is the front view and it is having the two hidden lines so you can see this structure all these lines will be overlapped with these corner points so this is the front view only right now I'll talk about the top view also so if you take projection lines okay now you can see this area and this rectangle only wherever it is coming as per the dimension right after that it must be a little bit bigger than this now you can't see anything from the top when you see from this side I have discussed all these things in your previous chapter orthographic projection if you have any doubt regarding this just do watch those videos now in the top view you will have few hidden lines for these corner one two three so it will have one for this this overlap and then for this means in, in this I can say for this and this one hidden line this and this second hidden line so two hidden line on this side and two hidden line on this side so this is the normal orthographic projection front view without sectioning now the question says that we have to do sectioning when you cut you remove this part now first step normal orthographic projection second step convert the hidden line into object line third step we have to draw the section line and we have to do the hatching so we have to follow these three steps to solve the question so first normal orthography we have drawn second hidden line into object line so you have to judge which line is coming which hidden line was there in front view and in the main diagram which is coming under sectioning so if I cut it from here you can see this hidden line this part it will now become visible after this so it means I have to convert this hidden line into object line and this hidden line will also be object so I have converted hidden line into object line third we have to draw the section line means we have to define the position from where it is cutting in the top view means we have to draw the section line in top view we are cutting the object exactly at the mid so it is defined by the section line now the uh, fourth or we can say the uh, second part of third step that is hatching hatching means we have to highlight the area where blade will make contact if you see the blade will touch the whole object and there is no web wedge or rib so it means in the complete part the hatching or the hatch lines will come so this is the front view now I have solved it in this way when you have the question in exam right now I'm giving you another view if you have to understand a few of you will not understand how I'm making this now I'm I'm solving I'm helping you if you can imagine this thing now what I have done here try to see I have made the sectioned object means when you 
cut it from here and remove this part sectioning is cutting and removing when you cut and remove this part this will be the remaining portion right this will be given in exam and you have to imagine this thing in your mind after cutting this will be the remaining portion in actual we have drawn the front view and top view of this object top view is without sectioning right front view mainly front view is for this object now you can compare it very easily this part will be visible so hidden lines now this part was having the hidden lines this part was having the hidden line in this it was hidden here now this part become visible that is why i have converted the hidden line into object line so this will be the view now we have to draw this using the same orthographic rule on x y axis try to understand how i have converted this object into this so that we can make this object so this is the imagination now let's see how to draw with dimensions now i will take this question so that uh, i can draw it with dimensions okay so first we have to draw the x y line now this is x y line first quadrant we are solving so vp above hp below right now after that i have told you there should be two grid point gap so i am taking two grid point gap here now what is the total length 45 so exactly i can take 45 4 and then 45 i can make it dark because this will be the visible part i am making this diagram taking the dimensions now total height is 42 exactly vertical so you have to take 1 2 3 4 and then 2 now I can make the outer part, outer side of rectangle dark. Then wherever the part is there, we have to draw as per dimension. 42. Done with this. Now you have to close this rectangle. So I have drawn the same, right? Now after that, we have to draw the internal structure. Now you can see it is having 15, 30, 45. So what I'll do? The easy way is that in this I can mark the points. If I mark the center, this is 45 means 22.5. So this is the center point, and here also this is the center point 22.5. Now what I'll do first dimension is 40 15 30 45. So 15 means 7.5, 7.5 both side. So from here. 5, 6, 7, 7.5 and on this side also 5 then 7 and 7.5 next dimension is 30 so it means 15, 15 both sides so 10 and then 15 and then 10 and 15 right now at the base also you can do the same 7.5, 7.5 both side after that 15 and 15 then now i can make a grid here which we can erase later on not required or you can leave it also but i will suggest you to just erase that actually these lines are going to help you in making the internal structure right after that in the side it is 14 28 and 42 so again i will make the midpoint of this it is 42 so it means 21 so here it is 21 and on this side also here it is 21 now 14 so means 7 7 both side 5 6 7 and on this side also 7 second is 28 means 14 14 10 4 and then 10 and 4 so here also if you do in this way now very easily very quickly you can make uh, the diagram so this is again 7 7 and I am telling you this is not the only way to draw you can make it in in your own style by taking first dimension which one this is just my way to solve this you can make it in your own style also own way also solution will not be wrong But just to save the time, I am following this method. Now I have get uh, a grid. Now I have to darken the part only. Now you can mark the point so that uh, you can erase the internal lines. I am going to 
just match these points right now I don't require the internal grid I can erase that if your outer part is now light you can make it again dark or you can go with the same darkness also So this is the internal shape of front view now it is having one groove also it is having 10 on both side 5 5 it means so you have to take 5 5 both side from the same center point 5 on this side 5 on this side but it will be now the dark portion why because object after sectioning it is the visible part So this is the front view uh, without hatching this is the front view now we have to draw the hatch lines i have told you when we have to draw the hatch lines you have to follow the three rules first all lines at 45 degree parallel to each other and gap 2 to 5 mm so follow this rule i'll tell you how to do the hatching now let's say this is my baseline from any corner just hold it zero on this and make first line like say i have taken this 45 angle and i have drawn this line 45 right now my first reference line is there 45 every line will be having 2 to 5 mm gap and parallel to each other now to make the these hatch lines easily on on your sheet i will suggest you on your scale if you can see this gap gap between this drawn line and the edge of the scale it is in between the 2 to 5 mm if you are having a different scale even then you will have few few lines on the scale which can be in between the length of 2 to 5 mm now i'm going taking the help of these why what i will put the drawn line on this and then i will make other line with the given width means i just have put the scale on the drawn line and i'm making the next line same you can proceed in this way and throughout you have to follow in this direction also you can rotate the notebook also or your drawing sheet make the hatch lines you have to draw the hatch lines in the same continuity throughout the diagram no need to measure all the gaps so you can take the help of the drawn line on your scale but remember that in the same continuity and take care where you don't have to make the hatch lines do not forget to give gap here right so this is the sectional front view now i'll make the top view I, you know that we have to take projection lines for top view from every corner you have to take exactly vertical projection line you can take the lengthy projection line after that unnecessary part we can erase this one now after that we have to draw the top view now you can see the top view it is having the same so I'll give the gap of 2 cm here you must give at least 2 grid point gap now you will draw this line after that 
it is having width how much 40 so this dimension I have to measure with scale otherwise the horizontal dimension we have no need to measure it is 40 okay I got it here also it is 40 and then this thing whatever the changes we have to do I have done it in the freehand sketch right that is why here I am only making the direct view so this part after that uh, you can see here it is having the header line so all these projection lines which are coming from front view they are looking like hidden lines in the top view so in the top view you will not make any change the question is we have to show the internal shape in the front view so we have drawn that view do not take like we are modifying the object we are not modifying this is just the imagination to show the internal shape only we are not modifying the shape okay so this is the top view with hidden lines now we have to make the internal now it is having size of 5 so exactly at the mid so this was 40 so I mark 20 so from 20 it is 5 so it means I will take 2.5 2.5 both side so I am marking 2.5 here and 2.5 here now I can make the straight line in this part and this part then I am join them so this is the internal rectangle which is coming here like this so this is the front view and top view now I will do the dimensioning I will erase the extra lines here which we have taken now we will do the dimensioning I have told you never give dimension to the hidden lines no need to give the dimension there now in the front view I have told you there is a rule we cannot draw any line inside the hash pattern so no need to give the dimension of this if you want to give the dimension uh, you can take the line from outside only hatch area so you can do the dimensioning like this only from outside only never take dimension lines from inside of hatch pattern no line should cross the hatch pattern here it will be now full sectional front view so this is the full sectional front view and top view as per the given question